Yo, what's up Z Squad and uh, this is going to be another DIY video. Today we're going to actually do a oil change on this guy right here. We got the Subaru. If y'all trying to do an oil change, they're all pretty much the similar. Make sure you have everything that you actually need. Is right here. These guys right here, instead of using a jack, you just drive up on those. This here is to actually get up underneath the vehicle so you can do the drain plug. Make sure you have the plenty of tools and accessories you need. Make sure you get the proper oil. Um, we get full synthetic and make sure that you know which one you're getting so you don't damage um, your vehicle as well is you can change the filter every other time. It's not necessary to do it every time, but every other one is still good as well. And obviously you wanna get the gloves, keep your hands clean as possible. This guy right here is gonna be your funnel. So the funnel actually, you know, put the oil in. And then we also got this guy right here. It helps loosen up the nuts. It's actually a lug nut bolt, but we just use it, um, which is I'll show you on the tool here. And make sure that you have something to clean up with a towel or um, paper towels or something like that. And then we also have this guy here, which is your oil drain pan. So that way you can put the oil in there without making a big mess. And these goes on the back of the tire. Half of the stuff that you see here, I do not use just because it's technically really not recommended. So let's go ahead and get started. When doing this, make sure those things are directly underneath the tire so that way it's easier for you to roll up and you always should have a second driver. And it's just simple as that. Let's continue getting to work. I'm sorry, oil filter. Sorry, not air filter, oil filter. And then right here is where the oil it goes into. And this guy is the dipstick for your oil. So make sure that you watch out for the same color, most likely. There we go. We're using a 14 millimeter. Uh, we actually using, yeah, the best wrench. What I like to do is put this, open it, slide this like that. It helps for leverage. But I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Look at loose, I should say, not crack. So you don't get scared. Get back into my wheelchair. There we go. We loose this. Turn it slowly, because the stuff will shoot out pretty quick at you. Get this underneath. Don't forget about the pressure, keep it nice and tight. Do it slow. Now I'm gonna unloosen it with my hand. It gets messy at this point, so be careful. I never tried it this way before. I'm actually gonna try to use this to catch it through here to see if that's gonna reduce anything. But I never tried it this before, so I don't know if it's gonna work. But let's go ahead and try. There we go. Just letting it leak out. Ugh. 
one of the things you want to do as well you could do it before during or after don't really matter is I'm loosening this which is the oil cap and then basically what that's gonna do is help you get a little bit more pressure in there go there you go and then we're just gonna wait till it drains out the bottom there so we can put it back on the bottom there Clean up. Here's the up close of the nut. Right there. That's the nut. It's in this little section hole there. What you want to do? is before you move the car because there's no oil in it you definitely want to put oil inside the car into here so that way it runs through the engine so you don't damage anything when i'm um, doing this process so we're going to go ahead and do that next make sure you put what is recommended into the car so that way you don't underflow it or overflow it. Fill it, not fluid. No, I'm gonna cap back on so we can put the car in reverse to get it even. And then we'll check the level here in a second. And one of the things you wanna make sure is you move everything from underneath the car so you don't crush anything. We have a little mess down there, which is fine. Air ring tonight. Get that out of the way. Let your driver know to reverse the car. If he's not sleeping, the driver is sleeping. <laughs> got him. We got him. There he goes. That's it. And now you got to shut off the car. We gotta shut off the car to make sure that you check the oil when the car is off to make sure you have a proper line of oil. So I'm just gonna resettle this guy back in just like this. Here's a dipstick right here. Make sure you clean it off. You're gonna have two lines. Sometimes it's a level line, sometimes it's not. Let's get a really good view if we can. There you go. That's the line you have to worry about. It doesn't say fill a knot, but it has to be between these two notches. You don't want it under or you don't want it over, okay? So let's go ahead and take a first dip in it. You wanna wait for just about like a second or so before I pull it back out. So this is actually low. You see that streak? That streak is nothing. You worry about that first. So we barely at that line. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up for some more. So let's turn the camera back this way. And get that angle. There we go. Releasing it. To pour more in.
Now at this stage of continue adding and pouring, you want to take sections of doing it now. And the reason why you take sections, sorry you're not going to be able to see me, well, I actually got to just do this. The reason why you want to take sections is because you don't want to overfill it or underfill it. And then you have to drain it. Remember, clean off. We look at the line, stick it back in. One, two, three. Pull it out straight as possible. We still on the low end. Another side still on the low end. So we can go ahead and pour the rest of this stuff in, all right? So that's the whole bottle of that. Put the cap back on, make sure you're doing the recycling. And then let's check the dipstick again. I think it's about five to five and a half quarts if I remember. Every car is different. Or every vehicle I should say. One, two, three. And look at that. That means we're right at that line as you see. Right close to that line. We clean it again. Let's see where we're at now. Between the line. We're exactly where we need to be at. Now, you want to make sure your stationary is clean. Don't forget to put the cap back on. That could be a lot of problems. There you go. Now you have properly changed the oil. Sometimes it's good to put oil in here. Sometimes it's not necessary. But this here is we can take this off. This sometimes has oil in it. So that can make a mess because that's your oil filter. So we'll try to get a close up of that. Right there. It's right next to each other. That's not on all vehicles. But just put a specific one it is. And there's going to be a lot of napkins needed because this all around that rim is going to be filled with oil. So you want to get prepared for that. These only need to be hand tight. You don't need no special tools for these guys here. But obviously you want to be prepared to be quick at it. Right there. And you want to clean that rim off there. There we go. Let that all soak in there. You want to get that bone dry as much as possible. Think about that. Saw that bad oil. Little bugs in here. Now put these on the oil pan itself. Uh, um, with the oil dripper we put stuff in. There we go. There we go. So I was getting clean, you see? That's normal. Just like that. So I'm looking, looking at that that is. This whole process typically usually takes 15 to 20 minutes, but it's taking a little bit longer due to the fact that I have video tape and review recording. So I'm going slower so that way you guys can understand. Just like that. Look how clean it is. It looks almost brand new again. We don't have to get every drop out of that either. And now I'm back with the new filter. Sometimes you got to make sure that this seal. Oops, sorry. You gotta make sure the seal is on there because the seal is actually what protects this from oil coming out uh, right there from out, coming out of here. And you can put oil in here, but it's not necessary. Back in the days, it was not really anymore. Uh, just take it, finger tighten it on there. See, very simple. Then you give it, so now it's nice and tight. Then you give it a little snug, just a nice little snug right before it's too tight so it doesn't overexpand itself. So this is good right there. That's perfect. And now you have completed your whole entire oil change. And then now you want to clean up your mess, let the car run for a second, and then you're 100% totally done. All right? Um, and I'll finish up this video in two seconds here. And now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had.